Hi guys, it's Cal from Nerdy Weasel, and on this episode of my mod organizer series, we're going to talk about downloading mods and installing them into Mod Organizer. So we uh, have Mod Organizer open right there, and uh, today I want to—I'm uh, interested in getting cloaks. So we're going to install cloaks of Skyrim, and uh, our first thing we're going to pull up since I already—I know it's—I keep cloaks of Skyrim in a file. You can see it's right there, Cloaks of Skyrim in my Penny Mod Skyrim. And when we go over to our install from an archive, we click that and uh, we look for Cloaks of Skyrim. It's right there. So it's pretty easy. We'll open that up. And uh, we'll double check, make sure it's manual. It looks good. And you know, if you didn't have, I would, you know, if it didn't say it looks good, if it said no data at the top, you would right click on this and set as directory but we don't need to do that this one looks fine so you hit install and it extracts all the files and would in time install it there it is so it cloaks of skyrim so i know there's a patch for this for dawn guard and since i have dawn guard now i want to go ahead and hit the nexus so you come over here search nexus network for more mods and uh, we want to be able to download from the Lit Nexus. And one of the things you have to do first is configure settings and workarounds. Now you can come over here into your settings and hit Nexus. And there's a couple things you have to do. Number one, in the Nexus box, you want to click automatically log into Nexus. You can see my username, CaltexRN. You know me from the Nexus. I've been downloading videos there for a while. And your password, make sure it's correct. So I would leave these two boxes unclicked and just to make sure it associates download with manager links click that box you won't get anything that pops up but that's okay just know that it works now you can see I've already set up mine after your first download through Nexus it will give you a list of options on your uh, server for once you to download so I want a preferred server and you can see I've already dragged mine over and it's Dallas since I'm in Austin so That'd be Dallas, but you can drag over Kent, UK. That's another premium, but I don't need that. We'll just put that back over there, and we'll leave it at Dallas, and we'll click OK. So when you go over to the Nexus tab, and you hit that, it'll open up in your browser, and you'll get the Nexus mod page for Skyrim. And you want to hit Search. And in our case, we're going to be looking, looking for cloaks. And uh, hit Most Downloaded. It's the easiest way to find it and Cloaks of Skyrim. Now, you come over to your file section and optional files. There it is right there, Cloaks of Skyrim Dawn Guard. And we'll go ahead and download with Manager and we'll show you why in just a second. Download with Manager. And it will open that up and it is downloading Cloaks of Skyrim, boom, just that fast. Now, if you want to install this patch, Dawn Guard, you would double click to install. Double click, there we go. And it's going to come up with a box. And it will be a box of names. And you can see Cloaks of Skyrim 1 2. It's the same as the original file for Cloaks of Skyrim. That's the original. If you pull that down, it would show these different things. But I want you to leave it as the same name as what you already have. This is a patch for this mod. Now we're going to click OK. You click manual again, we'll double check, and it looks good. Now, here comes the interesting part. We're going to keep our mod list kind of clean. Remember in Mod Manager, Nexus Mod Manager, it would have Cloaks of Skyrim followed by Cloaks of Skyrim Dawn Guard right underneath that. We don't need to do that. We are going to merge the two patches. And so all the patches will be into Cloaks of Skyrim. Makes it very neat. So you would hit merge. Just like that. Now all those files that were in the Dawn Guard patch are now in Cloaks of Skyrim. See? Said Mod Organizer, more power! Well, there you go. There's more power right there for you. So it helps clean that up. Now you show that it's installed. Double click to re reinstall. We don't need to do that. But I want you to do something else. We're going to right click and we're going to remove from view. Okay, so now it's gone. It's no longer a penny mod. If you were to come down to your show hidden, it would show all the mods I've installed. Okay, 
and close of Skyrim will be in here somewhere. I don't remember where it's at. It's probably going to be the bottom. There it is. Close of Skyrim Dawn Guard. Since we download it through this tab, it will be in the right pane. Okay, there we go. And we're back to this. And we'll come back to Cloaks of Skyrim and all that stuff. Dawn Guard ESP. We'll activate that to make sure it works within that system. And uh, we'll let Loot figure that, out, figure that out later. So, what I'm looking for next, I want to look for Winter is Coming. Those furry cloaks you see, I want those. So, we're going to hit Winter. And we're going to search for that. Most downloaded again. Winter is coming cloaks. Aha, that's what we're looking for. So if we come down to our files, we see winter is coming. There's a Nexus Mod Manager install. We can hit load, download with manager for that. And come over to Mod Organizer and look at our downloads. And there's winter is coming. I don't want to show hidden. I just want to be on the top. So it's a little larger file and it's going to take its time. And there you go. It is all done. So we can do the same thing with Winter is Coming Cloaks, Nexus Mod Manager 2-3. So double click to install. And it's going to extract the files. And we have a faux mod. Remember we talked about faux mods before, how Nexus Mod Manager handles it? And you can see this is a main plugin for Winter is Coming. It places items throughout the game on NPCs, vendors, and crafting. Now if you were to highlight over this craft only plugin, this plugin makes the cloaks only craftable. That means you will not find them on NPCs or vendors. Everything must be crafted. Or the No Guards plugin. This plugin is the same as the main plugin, except this one has No Guards edited in the mod. They will have no cloaks or hoods from Winter is Coming. You know what? I I want everybody to have cloaks because Skyrim is a cold place and I don't want them to freeze. So, here we go. Hit Next. So, we have the main cloaks patch. And it says this optimal patch for the mod Cloaks of Skyrim only use if you have Cloaks of Skyrim mod. Okay, I have Cloaks of Skyrim mod. Right? We installed that earlier. This patch edits the levels of an outfit list to play nicely with each other. You need this patch even if you make a bash patch. Well, I need that patch. The No Imperials Cloak. Eh, I want that. I, I want everyone to have Cloaks. We talked about that before. And hit Next. And it extracts the files. There we go. And it is active. So we can go ahead and install the mod. And we're ready to go. Now I saw something interesting on that page back at Winter is Coming. It is an optional file. It is a Winter is Coming Cloaks of Skyrim patch for 2.3. This is a manual version only. Do not use this with Nexus Mod Manager installer. Okay, so we download it manually. And we'll hit Dallas, and it'll go to my Downloads tab. Now what I'll naturally do, what I would normally do, is have my Skyrim, and we'll open our Downloads in a different window. There's my new window. And you can see Winter's Coming's Cloaks of Skyrim patch. Okay, we'll put that in there. And we can then close that down. And we can, since we have Winter's Coming Cloaks of Skyrim patch in my download section, come back to Mod Organizer and we would hit Install Mod from Archive. Now, I already know what's going to happen, but we're going to play along. The patch, open the patch. Patch? Okay, wait. Cloaks of Skyrim is Winter's Coming Cloaks. It's not listed there, so I can't I can't merge this, right? Everything looks good, but I can't merge that file. So how am I going to merge the two files together? Well, we're going to show you how you do that. I want to remove from you on that as well. And what you're going to do, you've got my massive download, or mods to be downloaded list, and I want to go ahead and go over to my games disk open in a new window and you're going to come over to mod organizer right there open it and you see a downloads 
file. Open that up. You can see all the games I've downloaded and put in there. Okay, including the winter is coming close. There's the original file. Now, what I want you to do is take that patch, drag it over, copy to downloads. Okay, now we can close these files. Come back over to Mod Organizer, and there's the patch. Now, you show this little button here, it says information is missing. So the version information is missing. So what I, you need to do is right click on it, query info and what this is going to do is ask Nexus for the right info so it query and we'll call it that double click to install it didn't quite work out right let's try it again there we go all right and we're fixed so we'll go ahead and double click to install this and we can go ahead and I don't see it there now what we can do is rename this. Remember, we need to rename this to merge it. So we will go ahead and put in winter is coming. You see it's all capital sensitive, so you gotta be careful in this coming. Cloaks. Right? So that all matches up with that, and we'll hit manual, and that looks good, and hit Hit OK, and we got merged. So we went ahead and merged those patches again, just like we talked about, so it's all in one file. And hit Merge. There we go. Now, it's going to give the wrong number, but that's OK. We still have it open up here, 2.3. Come back to Mod Organizer. Ignore Update. That's all it took. So it asked, it said there was some weird thing going on with this file number right here, and we wanted to make sure. Okay, it's fine. 2.3 is the right version, right? We got it off of this, so it's 2.3, and it's all ready to go. So all those files are now neatly packaged. We can go ahead and remove from view. If you go down to show hidden again, it, it should be at the bottom. There it is. It's going to have that warning. I'm okay with that warning being there. Query info. Eh, I'm fine. So last thing you always want to do, we'll close down our internet access and hit loot. Loot box pops open. Sort plugins. And our box comes open and we can find our cloaks. Dongard ESP, Cloaks ESP, and our Winter is Coming is around here somewhere. Winter is Climbing Pot. There's our patches from our foam mod. And Winter is Coming around here somewhere. Let's hit Apply and we'll find it the other way. So, details. I don't see any major problems coming up with this, so we're fine. Cloaks ESP. At some point, we're going to have to go in with TES5 edit and clean these up. So, other than that, we're okay. So we'll close that. And we can close our loot box. Come back over to Mono Organizer. And we should be able to find Winter is Coming Cloaks. So there's some ESPs. I have to highlight those. What does this say? Missing Masters, no Imperial. Okay, that's fine. We can go ahead and take that off because it is not necessary. Remember the no Imperial, um, we clicked, we wanted Imperials to have those. So it says this is no guards, but we have, we want guards to have them. So we're just checking all these things and no guards, cloaks, ESP. So these are fine. We want to leave these unchecked because it was part of that foam mod and we said no, we want all the guards to have them. Okay, so there's our cloaks ESP, winter is coming ESP, so they're all in our load order and that's done. And when we come back in the game, we'll, everyone will have cloaks, everybody will be warm. So that's it for now. Hopefully uh, you'll be able to figure this out. It's, we gave you three different ways of doing it, downloading from an archive, downloading it from the Nexus, and then if you never need to make a patch, you would download into your files, 
and then come over to downloads or come over can pull them out of your files put them into your downloads in your game folder into your download file see right there right there downloads and then that would add it to your download list and you can install it that way that way you can make purchase easy enough so uh i hope you found that informative my name's cal i'm from dirty weasel and i'm signing off I put an arrow, 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 arrow. I used to be an adventurer like that. Then I took an arrow again.